Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I wanted to give you a quick little overview on the array.includes method in JavaScript. So let's say I wanted to see if Apple was included in this array. So obviously we know it is, but somewhere in our app we may need to reflect that. So let's add a console log. Um, I don't actually have this open, but I'll, I'll reflect uh, what the result will be, what this console log will evaluate to. So we've got our fruits array and we would just do fruits.includes if I wanted to say fruits includes apples, this would evaluate to true because fruits does in fact, it'll search the whole array, fruits does in fact include the apples string. But I can also do this, and this is, this is something you'll use less, but it's important to know that you can. So if I also wanted to do fruit includes apples, but for whatever reason, check only if, if the array includes it after a certain index, that's the second parameter of this method. So I could do index two. If for some reason I wanted to start zero, one, two, start searching here, then it would search after index two. And it would completely neglect this apple right here, even though it's still in the array. So this would evaluate to false. Um, and something important to note is if you have an array uh, of, you know, let's say numbers, um, so let's start a new array to uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, so if I wanted to check if this, if this array includes a, a number two, but in a string, dot includes would actually reflect that as true. Um, so if I wanted to do nums dot includes, but instead of the exact same two, um, you know, as an integer, I could do a string two, and this would actually evaluate to true because this is going, this dot includes in the background does a, a loose comparison. I, I think that's how you would say it, a loose comparison. Basically not, not strictly typing the, the, or strictly checking the type. So it would be like this, which would uh, evaluate to true, but this would evaluate to false. And dot includes, um, dot includes is doing this way. So you want to be careful using dot includes uh, if it's something that where the type really matters. But that is essentially uh, everything you need to know about the dot includes method. It's super useful. It can be a shorthand for something like two equals variable <laughs> or three, four equals variable or six equals variable. But instead, you could just do um, add add these uh, first values to four six, I think that's, those are the numbers I had, dot includes variable. So that's a bit more concise, bit easier to read, bit less uh, repetitive, which is always good. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks. Hope, hopefully you, uh, hopefully you got some from this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it greatly. I know I've been a bit slow uploading, but I will try to be better about that. Anyways, see you guys.